Can you tell that this is my favorite already? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bella and this is Bella's Perfume Diaries. If this is your first time of stumbling on this channel, Perfume Diaries is a series where we'll talk about perfumes a sprinkle of beauty and lifestyle so if this is the kind of content you like please click that subscribe button and join the family and if you're a returning subscriber <laughs> welcome back thank you for tuning in once again on today's episode i'm going to be doing battle of the intense versions so i'll be talking about c intense 2014 edition c intense 2021 edition and the recent c you do perform intense 2023 edition if you're an og on this channel you know that c amani by george amani is one of my favorite fragrances of all time i think i did a c range where i talked about all the flankers so i was super super excited to get the new release in my collection which i'm going to be talking about but then i thought about it why don't i just do a comparison between the three fragrances so if you want to know my thoughts on the c intense line and which one is worth getting in your collection then keep watching so these are the three fragrances this is the c intense 2014 edition this is the c intense 2021 edition and this is the c intense 2023 edition which i have a 15 ml of this one just so you know my big bottle is on the way so i'm going to be starting with the older one down to the most recent which is the c intense 2014 edition so the c intense 2014 edition comes in this black bottle typical c bottles i love how elegant c bottles look so the main accords of c intense 2014 edition are fruity woody floral aromatic soft spicy green vanilla citrus patchouli and rose the fragrance is described as a shipra fruity fragrance for women top notes are black currant cassis freesia mandarin orange and bergamot middle notes are bay rose osmanthus neroli and athemisia while the base notes are vanilla patchouli woody notes and ambroxan hmm. I like the way this one sprays out. So this fragrance opens with a blast of that black currant that gives it this juicy plum fruitiness. And in between that, you get some oranges. It's surprising. It then becomes floral with that beautiful rose in the mid that mixes up with that juicy plum black currant from the top to create this very sexy, boozy, fruity scent. Underneath all this fruitiness, this gorgeousness, this sexiness, you get some mossiness, which comes off as earthy. So I'm guessing that earthiness comes from the patchouli because patchouli is listed in this fragrance. And also it has this smooth, creamy vanilla that follows it through. Overall, this is a juicy, fruity, sexy, creamy scent. It's very feminine, it's very sensual. If this is the first Sia Mani you smell, you would be mind blown. But then, it seems like the intense version got better as the year went by. So if you need a sexy, boozy vanilla scent that smells like a fruity black currant wine, you would absolutely love this. This fragrance has medium projection with minimum of 8 hours longevity. So that's C. Amani Intense, the 2014 edition. Now let's go to the next one. The next one is C. Amani Intense, the 2021 edition. My juice has gotten so dark and rich and I love it. So this one comes in this transparent bottle with this dark colored amber juice in it it also has these gold details at the base of the bottle so the main accords of this one are fruity amber warm spicy rose woody patchouli aromatic floral balsamic and green the fragrance is described as an amber floral fragrance for women the top notes in this fragrance is black currant syrup Middle notes are Turkish rose and Davana, while the base notes are benzon and patchouli. Now, this one opens up very syrupy, like boozy wine, which I'm guessing is coming from the black currant syrup at the top. My favorite part of this fragrance is this burnt smokiness that mixes with that boozy syrupiness in this fragrance. It's sweet, it is sexy, it is boozy, it is slightly smoky. I think that smokiness is probably coming from the patchouli, 
but then it is more refined and classy and elegant so that smokiness comes in to brown the fragrance i love that combo of thick boozy fruity wine with a little bit of smokiness this to me is perfection this fragrance has heavy projection with minimum of 12 hours longevity i used to say that this was my favorite siamani flanker until they released the new intense version so that's siamani intense 2021 edition finally my favorite which is siamani oud parfum intense 2023 edition this is my favorite from the bunch it seems like the c intense line became better and better over the years my big bottle of this fragrance is on the way already because i am obsessed with it so i love the concept of the bottle of this fragrance i will show you what the actual 100 ml looks like it comes in the typical c amani bottle but then they wrote this c on the bottle i think they kind of engraved it on it which is just really stunning. Now the main accords of C. Amani Intense 2023 Edition are vanilla, fruity, rose, woody, soft, spicy, green, floral, patchouli, aromatic and balsamic. The fragrance is described as a shipra floral fragrance for women. The top note is black currant, middle notes are May Rose and Davana, while the base notes are bourbon vanilla, vanilla, patchouli and black tea. I think I know why this is my favorite from the bunch because it has a heavy dose of vanilla in the dry down it has vanilla bourbon and also vanilla so this fragrance opens up very feminine with some light fruits which is obviously the black currant that makes the siamani dna but then it thickens up as it settles down it has vanilla bourbon so that vanilla bourbon just makes it very thick very syrupy very boozy the most beautiful thing about this fragrance is the dry down it's the dry down for me it dry dries down with a heavy dose of vanilla it comes off as very gourmand very thick very dense sexy and intoxicating the dry down of this fragrance reminds me of La Belle Intense by John Paul Gaultier another fragrance that is an absolute love for me so this fragrance comes off as a mixture of the OG Amani and La Belle Intense by John Paul Gaultier like two of my favorite fragrances in one count me in this fragrance has knocked out the 2021 edition because that fragrance was my favorite for a very long time and now this is taking over this fragrance is about to take over i am completely obsessed like this to me is like a gourmand version of the og siamani like if you love the siamani dna and you need a gourmand version of it get your hands on this this perfume is amazing so this fragrance has medium projection with minimum of 8 hours longevity I don't know if my C obsession is going to end anytime soon but I absolutely love the C DNA I love the C flankers I am just obsessed with that scent profile so I'm going to be ranking the three of them I'm sure you guys already know my ranking but let me just do it again number three is the C Amani Intense 2014 edition number two is the C Amani Intense 2021 edition standing ovation for my number one the C Amani Udu Parfum Intense 2023 edition so the people that recommend these fragrances to if you're a fruity fragrance lover but then you need something sexy as well you can get the 2014 edition but if you like heavier scents like if you want something that has that sexiness but with an added kick with some heaviness in it the C Amani Intense 2021 edition is for you and finally if you're a gourmand girl you love vanilla you love sweet sexy fragrances the C Amani Oud Parfum Intense 2023 edition is for you if you are completely obsessed with this C Amani DNA you can have the three in your collection like when in doubt buy all so that's my thoughts on the C Amani Intense line so let me know in the comment section which one you love have you tried any of the ones I have mentioned unfortunately we've come to the end of this episode don't forget to like this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't drop your scent of the day in the comment section I would love to connect with you in the comment section Thank you guys for tuning into Bella's Perfume Diaries. I'll be seeing you on my next episode. Bye.